Hi, my name is Sid and I'm playing Dar in The Invisible Hand. Um, I think the play for me that changed my life uh, were two plays by Arthur Miller, Death of a Salesman and A View from the Bridge, which I both uh, studied both of them at school. Um, and studying them in depth, I think, was uh, just a great opportunity to see something that's so human and uh, heartbreaking and, and, and kind of question so much about what it is to, to be successful, what it is to kind of live as a, as a person and try and have aspirations that aren't always uh, fulfilled by the reality of life. And seeing them, uh, seeing real productions of them as well after I left school was kind of confirmed for, for me that, I, that this was something that I wanted to try and, try and do as a profession as well, to act. Uh, the best job for me that I've had um, is a play called True Brits, uh, which I did up in the Edinburgh Fringe. Um, it was a play, it was a one-man show, and it was, it, was a, it was an amazing opportunity for me uh, to try and uh, kind of learn, just to, to learn on the job really about sustaining a, a standard performance over a long period of time, to work very closely with the writer and the director and an amazing creative team. Um, and also there was the opportunity to bring it down to London to the Bush Theatre for a couple of nights, so it was a, it was a lovely journey for me, personally. And also to see how kind of where people have gone since then. It was by a writer called Vinay Patel, who was uh, it was his first, it was his debut theatre play, and he's now kind of gone on to to do some really interesting and exciting projects. So it's so it's been uh, lovely to learn on the job through that. Yeah. Uh, the worst thing that's happened to me on stage was uh, while I was in a play at university, a student play in a really damp room above a pub, and I was supposed to. At one point, I was supposed to plant a kind of a Mars bar on stage underneath a chair, but I threw it too with too much vigour, and it fell off the back of the stage. And so, when when my um, fellow acting um, member had to try and find it to, to get on the scene, it was a bit of an interesting one where we had to um, uh, just riff a bit and improvise. But we got there in the end. But it was it was a pretty um, heart in mouth moment for for about three minutes. Anyway, the biggest lie that I've ever told perhaps unintentionally, was saying that I had a passport that uh, hadn't expired and I got a job that meant I, could, uh, I was going to travel somewhere amazing and I realised how after I looked at my passport that it was just far by the expiry date and so having to get through that um, at Victoria Station where you have to go to the passport office at about five in the morning and queue up. Uh, we managed it in the end but it was, a <laughs> it was a bit of a white lie, let's say. I don't really have a pre-performance ritual as such, more just um, getting to into the space with enough time and warming up vocally and physically, uh, being present, I suppose, uh, if that sounds a bit pretentious, but just getting ready in a in quite a conventional sense, having a light dinner as well, so that's a good one. I think for me, Ben Stiller is one of my favourite actors, just because he's a, I think he, he treads a really great he shows really great um, strength and depth between sort of comedy roles and the more and more serious one. And he's got quite big ears, I think, which are sort of similar to me. But in reality, I reckon Dev Patel would probably take it. And the hardest thing for me personally about being an actor is uh, maybe the uncertainty about the profession. So you never um, always know where kind of jobs are going to come from after a certain amount of time. It does keep things interesting and exciting and fresh, but and for me, um, the way of overcoming that uncertainty, I suppose, is just by keeping busy outside when you're not um, kind of conventionally doing acting, being proactive within the industry, but also just simple things like keeping up with friends and family and finding ways to keep busy on the, um, when you're not that busy in a professional sense as well, I think helps you to overcome uh, any boundaries that might be there. The Invisible Hand is on stage at the Tricycle Theatre from the 12th of May. Book tickets at tricycle.co.uk.